This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you live from the telecom exchange in the Big Apple of New York City, and I am talking with my new friend, Mr. Zeb Dreyer. Dreyer, correct? I got That's it right. right. Mr. Zev Dreyer. Zev is the VP of Strategic Marketing for MRV. Zev, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Dean. So, Zev, I understand that this is your very first telecom exchange. How is the show going for you? Well, I think the right place was the right people. And uh, the fact that part of our customers uh, during this event, we're attending the event, actually mm -hmm. meeting new prospects, and we see it as a very insightful. So Zev, uh, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about MRV? Right. So MRV is a new, not a new company. We're, uh, we established in 1988. Over the years, we increased the packet and optical solution. Today, we're focusing on metro packet and optical networks uh, from the perspective of the market. We're serving tier one providers and smaller service providers and data center operators. Um, when we're looking on MRV, it's not only about technology. We have very extensive technology assets, but it's also about the people. People that go the extra mile, mm -hmm. that are able to be nimble, to react fast to the customer requirements, and I think this is the secret sauce behind the technology, the people. Very good, Zev. Thank you very much. Now, we are on Wall Street in New York City. So as long as we're on Wall Street, let's talk financial institution. Now, um, does MRV offer a specific uh, product for the financial institutions? It's a good point. If we're looking on the financial nerve of the world here in uh, Wall Street, so one of our customers deploying our low latency solution for this specific market. And um, I think this is one of the things that we, the customer is appreciated. Mm -hmm. The customer, uh, the installation of the equipment takes like 60 seconds and the latency is 20 times lower than our competition. So we're speaking about nanosecond, we're almost invisible in the network, mm -hmm. which brings a lot of value when we're doing, when actually you have the high frequency transactions. Zev, let's go ahead and look into the crystal ball now. What do things look like uh, for MRV, let's say in the next year? Right, so I think uh, let's look at it from the market perspective. The market keep on going with the three aspects. Number one is the capacity will keep on growing. And number two, operational efficiency should be better because people are still doing some things manually. And number three, a network supposed to be more virtual and in, in intelligence and on-demand. So I think if you're looking on the market, those are three things which are important. If we're getting back to the MRV, so one, on the optical side, we keep on increasing capacity. We mm -hmm. have one of the widest portfolios of optical transport solution for small to large, uh, which means the option is to go pay as you grow model, mm -hmm. which we're very appreciated. Um, integration of packet cards inside our optical portfolio and the vice versa, which means taking optical stuff and integrating in our packet solution to give the freedom to make networks more agile, mm -hmm. programmable, and virtualized. So the, when looking on all those three aspects and getting back to it, so on top of it, we have the orchestration management software that's supposed to make operations simpler, sure. mm -hmm. automated, and obviously reduction of the costs. Very good. Zeb, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Dean. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.